Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another general love read. Uh, it is a general read, so just take what you need, leave the rest. However, if you did enjoy and you do enjoy this read, guys, feel free to leave behind a like, share and subscribe here today. Uh, I will mention that I'm also over on Instagram as a reminder. I have recently uploaded some new reads over there. So if that should interest you guys, feel free to go and check those out. There may be a message over there waiting for you. Um, all the details will be in the show more section below on how to connect with me on that platform and or other platforms. Also, if you would like to work with me, guys, um, feel free to reach out. I will have my email listed below. And I will link in the 2021 yearly tarot overview because within that read, you can also find the yearly love overview for your sign for the upcoming year. So if that's something that interests you, feel free to check that out. Uh, Pisces, this is a six card spread. However, I do invite you to stick around to the end because we will be drawing an extra animal spirit oracle card for your person. This is going to be your next relationship, okay? So is this going to be a mate or a date? Mate being someone that you can build something serious and long term with here or a date where you're just, you know, you may be meeting once or twice and it's just... It's more casual than more serious, all right? So the, the cards that are coming through, you've got the Hanged Man, the Wheel, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Wands here. Uh, the signs that you could be dealing with here, um, Page of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And I want to say Taurus with the Hanged Man. Okay, so what am I seeing here, Pisces? I feel like the person, this next person that you're going to meet, I, I need to say intuitively I'm feeling like they're going to get your head spinning, okay? You're, this person's going to make you feel on top of the world or you feel like you've met the one. Okay, with the hangman and the wheel, like this person gets you all giddy and just gets your head spinning. Okay, I feel like this connection is very, very exciting. The Page of Wands is an excitable energy. Okay, there's a lot of charisma and a lot of energy coming through with this person. I feel like the interest is there, but I feel like it fizzles out. Okay, I feel, if anything... Um, I do, I can't help but ignore that there's an Eight of Cups here. And then we've got the Eight of Swords here. So there's two Eights already in this spread. Okay. Don't get me wrong, the connection of the Eight, the Eight to me is representing the connection. And I feel the connection is mutual. You're both interested in one another, okay? You're both excited by one another. But I feel that interest fizzles out very, very quickly. You may fall, you know, head over heels with this person very, very quickly, but then it fizzles out. That's what I'm getting Pisces. I'm just, I'm seeing someone here walking away, eight of cups. You know, doesn't really satisfy me anymore. I'm not really getting, in, in, I'm not enjoying this like I did at the start. I feel like, Pisces, that this is going to be someone that comes into your life, it escalates really, really quickly, and then it comes crashing down. That's the best way for me to describe it. I see someone walking away here because it didn't take its time. It, did, it just sort of like went straight to the top with the wheel, like it escalated straight to the top. It could even be that, you know, maybe you jumped into bed too soon with this person, okay? And it doesn't leave much to the imagination. Like there's nothing left to leave to the imagination because you kind of went down that road very, very quickly. And, you know, with the Nine of Wands, this is the energy of someone giving up. 
okay? Uh, I feel like one of you would be more committed here to working at this. I feel like one of you has the intention to continue to see where this goes, but the other one doesn't. The Eight of Swords here can speak to self-sabotage. So it could be someone sabotages this connection due to one's limiting thoughts and beliefs on oneself. So if you're lacking confidence or the belief within yourself, okay, I mean, this is inner dialogue. This is what stories have, are you living by, Pisces? What are those stories that you're living by? Because those stories right there is what's sabotaging this connection. If you lack self-worth, okay, that might be the story, I'm not good enough, and you might be under the impression or under this belief that you have to, uh, you know, sleep with this person to feel valuable, then that could be the, the story that is your undoing here. Okay, I see it here in the cards. So, um, I feel like this connection, this person, your next relationship is getting you to see where and how your belief system is blocking your love life. Okay, your your belief system is blocking your love life, is, is blocking you from building beautiful relationships with the right people. Um, or it could be the other way around. It could be the other person is lacking in beliefs. I mean, they might have the limiting beliefs. Here. The hangman does speak to feeling hung up. So there's no movement in the hangman here. This isn't moving. This isn't progressing. I just feel like it escalates really quickly and then it comes crashing down. So let's let's draw an extra card to get more um, information regarding your person of the person that's coming in. Could they could be younger than you with the page as well? Uh, could be a younger energy here. Could be someone literally younger than you. Uh, this could be the energy of someone who's got a young soul, is very adventurous, uh, is a free spirit here. Um, Maybe they're just in it for a good time, okay? They're just in it for a good time with the Page of Wands. This is just this is just date material and nothing, something more casual, not, not serious energy here. I'm not getting serious energy here. Okay, what have we got here? The card that popped out is the B Spirit. Upward pointing triangle with the line through it is representative of air. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Did I say that earlier? No, fire. I feel like, see this bee, um, bees are very social. And like if you look at the energy of the bee and the page of wands, to me it looks very, very similar. I mean, even the symbolism in these cards are very, very sim similar. I feel like the bee is after a good time. The air, air is detachment, okay? It's detached energy. So this is someone who's coming in. They're not really looking for something serious. They're looking something for more, just more casual here, okay? Um, because I feel like this person is more committed to their work. Okay, or this person is committed to their social life. Like this person loves socializing. 
um, loves going to parties and loves networking. And I, I just don't see this person, you know, in it for the long haul. So, um, I mean, this could be a connection, Pisces, that you could really learn something from. You may, with the hangman here, see um, an element or a, a side of yourself that you don't see until this person comes into your life to show you. So there we have it, Pisces. I do hope you enjoyed this read. And until next time, take care, my loves.